Good morning! It's Saturday. It's very crisp out here. It feels like fall. Fall in Michigan. Uh, we're... I don't know really what we're doing. We're gonna hit some yard sales. I don't know if we're gonna stop at some thrift stores. I don't know if we're gonna hit the flea market. I don't really know what we're doing, but we're leaving the house in search of treasures. Come along with us. We have hit our first official garage sale of the day. And it was a, a success. I bought a $3 large Granny Squares Afghan. It's about that season again. It's a little chilly out today. Found our next garage sale. Don't mind me, I'm stuffing my face with leftover pizza. <laughs> well, Rich about killed it. He bought the Bose 301 Series, Series 3. 30 bucks. 30 bucks, brand new in the box. <clears throat> Comps. Yeah, that's real nice. Oh, yeah. Real nice. $450. That's what the stains, that's, though. Yeah. But still, we paid 30 bucks. All solds. We paid 30 We have located a little community sale we're going to peep real quick. Lots of clothes, baby stuff. So glad I'm not in that phase of my life anymore. We stopped at this absolutely massive sale. There was so much stuff. A lot of stuff. And it was priced well. But I only managed to find that crate, the charcoal bucket, and I think that originally was a ashtray, ashtray stand. But I got those for nine bucks. So not not bad. Just golf, anyone? Yeah, really good discs, actually. And I mean, discs run you anywhere from 10 to 20, sometimes 25 bucks. So for 50 cents a piece, you can't go wrong. And I offered $2, so we actually got all of those for two bucks. I don't know what this is. It's like a church sale, but I'm not sure this is a church. So I don't know. We're going to go peep the scene. I don't know. This is very intriguing. Maybe these are apartments. I'm not sure what this is, but there's a lot of like community sale stuff going on here. I like it. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Nine dollars. The ninja's mine because Rich broke my blender. But I got the wagon for sale. We have came upon a estate sale. I used to really hate estate sales, but we found some pretty decent stuff. I think we're gonna peep the scene and see if we can find anything. Like why? Why are those two hundred dollars? Running away gracefully, running away gracefully. Those prices were outrageous. Reverse, reverse. That garbage picking at its finest. Oh yeah, yeah, it's sturdy. It just needs cleaned up a bit. Antique. Well, we took a little breather, stopped by Rich's mom's house and ate. Now we're gonna hit up a Salvation Army. Oh my gosh, that's seriously awesome. It's gonna stay here, but it's awesome. Holy crap, especially for 26 bucks. Ugh, I wish there was more of those. I'm a little bummed. Those are freaking bad. At, you know what I'm about to say. Have to peep the holiday section. So where my head is at lately. Although I'm not seeing anything that I'm super excited about, unfortunately. Ooh, what is that? Never mind, it's just cheap plastic. <laughs> Stay in here. Alright, we're piecing out of this place. We got one more that we want to stop and look at. Alright, this is the other store I wanted to check out. Hopefully we have a little bit better luck here. Yes, you are. 1996. Alright, priced. I like him. Ugh, no price. So we're gonna keep looking. 
exactly is going on here? I don't understand that at all. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> and strike two on the thrift stores. We're heading to go get dinner. We did make it back to the house, and while we were gone, oh, I'm dropping stuff. We sold the crappy Little Tykes tugboat, and that makes both gone. Because what you will find out in an upcoming video is that the nice tugboat that we bought at the thrift store also sold on Etsy. I think for $65. The crappy one sold for five, but they're both gone. Well, this one's gone. The other one will be gone on Monday. Now as for the wrap up, we got this radio flyer wagon. I'm thinking I should get 25 out of that. It's in pretty good condition and that's usually what I get between 20 and 25, com you know, comparative conditions. The rustier, <laughs> the lower the price goes, but this one's in pretty good shape. 25 bucks, shouldn't have a problem. Garbage picked this little table. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. It's just a little scratched up and old looking so I don't know free I like free I'm thinking 10 or 15 bucks nothing crazy but it is a cute little side table Rich's Bose 301 series 3 I guess these are vintage from the early 90s he does have them listed locally already for $200 but we he took like he took real quick pictures at his mom so Tomorrow, if they're not going to move locally, he's going to take better photos and stick these bad lads up on eBay for, I think, $250, but don't quote me. Picked up this large Granny Squares afghan. This appears to be more of just like a throw blanket. It's not very tightly stitched, but I liked the pattern, and for $3, I should get more than that. <laughs> I don't think this one's a high dollar one. Uh, you know the granny squares are awesome don't get me wrong and it's a decent size I'm probably looking somewhere between 15 and 20 for this so not a huge profit but a profit nonetheless and we are getting into the fall season where the stuff should start selling again also picked up this charcoal bucket paid two dollars for this um I have never sold one of these so I don't really know my phone's ringing hold on Anyways, I've never sold one of these, so I don't really know exactly how much it is worth. I will let you know when I figure it out. I don't know. Eh, I don't know if it's vintage or not. If it is, I'll probably list it on eBay and Etsy. If not, I don't know. Antique booth or local sale. I don't really know what I'm doing with that thing, but it was $2, so there's that. Rich bought these disc golf discs for $2, and I think these are going to be kept play some disc golf with the with the 13 year old we're keeping those bought this antique vintage milk crate it's a double crate uh, for the singles I usually get about $15 in the booth so I shouldn't have a problem getting 25 for that in the booth paid five for it and last but not least is this piece which is old <laughs> and I do believe it to be an ashtray stand I also paid $2 for this. I don't know if I'm going to stick an ashtray in it or if I'm just going to put a plant in it and call it a plant stand. But it is pretty. I like it. Shows some age, but I also may have a large ashtray, so I don't know. I've sold a couple of the stand ashtrays on Etsy for some decent money, but this one's a little rough. If I can clean it up or Rich can clean it up, I might actually stick an ashtray in it and put it up on eBay and Etsy for like the $40 range. I will probably get more money for it that way if I can find an ashtray that will fit the top. I don't know. I'll have to see what I've got in my hoard. I've got plenty of stuff, that's for sure. Uh, so I guess we didn't buy like a ton of stuff. I mean, those bows... Those bows are worth like two to three hundred dollars. So just in those speakers alone, it was worth going out and hitting garage sales today. Plus, we'll have a ton of fun with that. That shouldn't stick around too long. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that and I'll get that listed at some point in the next century. 
But that was our day today. Garage sales. Hit a couple thrift stores that didn't really pan out. It happens. Thanks for hanging out with us again. I'm signing off for the night. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.